All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here, 90s to now. I am Jerry Strauss. We're here for a very special episode. We have no script. We have no format. But what we do have is a celebration because we are coming up on one of our favorite events of the year. It's 90s Con. It's in Hartford, Connecticut. uh, And it's happening this year, uh, March 15th through the 17th. And we got a big contest going on. It's our biggest contest ever. One of the big reasons why people are so excited is our guest at this time. You see her on the screen. You've seen her on this show before. You've heard her on the show before. Uh, but things are different now because we used to talk about you know what we used to do. But now I, I think we kind of have to lead off with global dancing sensation, Andrea Barber. Global dancing (laughs) sensation. Absolutely. (laughs) I've never been introduced like that before, but uh, I'll take it. I'll take any compliment. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) I don't know. We're just... No, no. no, Obviously, full house, fuller house. I'd I'd seen some Kimmy Gibbler dancing memes lately that put into my head that, you know, I, I, you know, you're... There, there's people I danced out there. a lot on the show. I danced a ton. I didn't dance well, but I'm really good at <laughs> awkward dancing. So that can still be a sensation. Maybe not in an award winning way, but it is sensational. The type I'm of t- dancing I did on, on Full and Fuller House. <laughs> Well, well, look, as we said, you know, you've been on the show before and we've you've been so good about talking all about Full House, Fuller House, answering tons of questions from fans. And I know you guys out there are excited to hear more from Andrea. But uh, as we said, we're winging it. No script, no format, because we've got a very special contest this week. Um, Mm. And it's all about giving away a free pair of tickets to this gigantic event. You're a veteran of it at this point. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, it's coming up, 90s Con. Uh, it's now sort of a bi-locational thing, if that's the correct term. They've got it in Florida later in the year and then mm-hmm. back in Connecticut uh, in just a few weeks as we're recording this in March. Uh, you've been at how many of them now? Which How many have you been on? I believe I've been at every single 90s Con. I did wow. the inaugural one. Um, what year was that? Two years ago, I guess. And then, so this will be my fourth 90s con. So if there's been four 90s cons, I've done them all. And they're they're fantastic. They just get better and better. It's so (laughs) fun. It's so exhausting and so exhilarating all at the same time to have like adrenaline surging through your body, but also be like, oh my gosh, it's like a marathon. You got to keep your energy going. You got to have like little candy snacks to keep your, you know, your blood sugar high. Um, But it's fun. It's so great. It's our one chance to really get to be face to face with our fans and meet them and hear their stories about how they grew up with our shows. Uh, and it's, it's fun. It's a blast. It's great. I love the nineties. That was such a great decade and it's great to get to go back and everybody's kind of wearing nineties inspired clothing and they've got merch, lots of nineties merch out there. I have a pair of, um, uh, spice girls earrings, like, (laughs) like the dolls, (laughs) So I I wore those last year to 90s con. Maybe I'll bring them back for this year's 90s con. I don't know. It, but it's a blast. I love I love it. Always have a good time. The green room is like a, one big um, like high school reunion, you know, because like a lot of us 90s child stars grew up, you know, together. We were either on each other's shows or we would see each other in the audition hallways. You know, we were all up for the same roles. Yeah. And so it's a it's fun for the celebrities too to get to see each other in the green room and hang out in between our, um, our, you know, professional duties. And it's, it's great. Always a good time. And and there's such a buzz in the weeks and months leading up to it because people are like, who's going to be there? Who's going to be there? Who are they going to announce? And it's always this great mix now that we're, we're a few into the thing of, Oh, they're coming back. And of course, you know, you're a big part of that. Oh, we're so excited. We want to see her again. And then plus, who are the new people who are going to be the new reunions that we're going to see this year. And so there's, I'd have to imagine this gigantic mix of returning fans who are coming to this thing and new fans that may be coming for the first time. I'm going to be there for the first time this year. I'm excited. Oh, great. I'll be covering the thing. Uh, so I, oh, fun. that's awesome. We've been, and we've been talking about this for years, but I feel like, until you're there you don't know firsthand what that atmosphere is going to be like so i'm soaking this up too i'm trying to mentally and emotionally 
and probably physically prepare myself because (laughs) sleep now, sleep now and just make sure you pack lots of like energy bars or I don't a granola bar. I don't know. I hope you can bring food in. I have no idea. Um, But yeah, it's like this big warehouse packed full of people Uh, and Mm. every celebrity has a table. They group us by show. So the full house, you know, all of our tables will be in a row. Mm -hmm. Um, And then all of like the boy meets world people will be in a row. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's great. There's, there's food. Like I said, there's merch. It's fun. I'm not going to be there all three days. I'm only going to be there Saturday and Sunday, but that's okay. Saturday is the biggest day. That's when everybody is there. That's when a lot of the panels are where we go up on stage and Mm -hmm. get grilled by a, a, a panel moderator. It's not, it, they're softball questions. It's not very difficult, but it's fun. People love to attend the panels. I wish I had time to go to the other shows panels because I want to hear them too. But you know that by then I'm all, I'm on the floor signing autographs and taking pictures, but you uh, want to heckle, don't panels. you? I do. (laughs) Heck yes. I would love to heckle. I would have so many questions to ask too. I'd be like, give me that microphone. (laughs) I cannot think of anything more fun, hilarious, and or distracting to those on the stage than Andrea Barber popping into the crowd and just (laughs) deciding to make a bit of a ruckus. That would be a great moment for everyone. Uh, Well, great for, yeah, great for the fans. I don't know if the the participants on stage would like it. I I don't want to upstage anybody. So no, I'll just... I'll just uh, stay in line and do my do my do my diligent duty and meet the fans. That's what I'm there to do is to meet the fans. That's what it's all about. It starts yeah. with them. They are the MVPs of the weekend is the fans. And it's a huge community thing for the fans as well. Uh, you can see on social media. Uh, they talk to each other. They're connecting with each other. There, there's meetups. There's friendships. There's probably romances. There's all sorts of things Aww. popping off at these events, and everyone just seems to be so excited to get back together with you guys, but also with each other. So a lot oh, of love, love in that. that giant warehouse. Oh, I know that there's like friend trip, friendship bracelets. Uh, like in Taylor Swift style, like everybody's exchanging <laughs> friendship bracelets. And I have, oh, you know what? I still ha- I have them right here. I didn't wow. plan this, but I kept mine from last year. Ooh, they're a little bit tangled. But um, yeah, I'll just put them on right now. I kept all the friendship bracelets that fans brought me um, last year. I don't know if it was in Hartford or in Tampa. These might be the Tampa ones. But anyways, yeah. Watch, I'm going to get like 150 more of these oh my goodness. in a couple weeks. Do people but, bring uh, you stuff? Do they know like things you like and bring you snacks and gifts and things like that? Snacks, but um, they'll bring like pictures. If, if anyone came to see a full house taping back in the 90s, they'll bring pictures sometimes. They'll write letters. I actually love the letters. I've kept a couple of them that are just very touching and very meaningful. Um, yeah, they'll, they'll bring little gifts. Like I said, um, and like, the friendship bracelets or keychains or, you know, whatever strikes their fancy. It's they're so thoughtful and so sweet. And I just love all of it. It's, it's awesome. That's so cool. That's yeah. why you're the OG of, uh, of nineties kind. You just, <laughs> uh, it's always, always a good time. We love it. That's awesome. And and look, we wanted you guys to have a bit of a good time getting in the 90s con spirit ahead of time. So we've launched this contest. Andrea has graciously agreed to uh, be the ultimate judge of this thing. So this is out of my hands, people. Oh, and Andrea, pressure. Pressure. We're, we're, let's be real with this. Andrea is seeing these videos. We've selected... Uh, three finalists from the submissions that you guys sent us. So thank you for that, everyone. Um, And unfortunately we couldn't include everybody, but we've narrowed it down to three. Um, It's a well-rounded three, um, but Andrea is seeing these for the first time. So this is going to be first impression. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. What, how do I choose an order? I didn't even think about this. We are, we are really going off the rails here. I don't know. I am. I am so just going to, okay. They had to, so they had to impersonate a character yeah. from the nineties. Is that what the premise is that for they yeah. did a 30 second impression of a character or a scene or just something from the nineties? That was the, the guide was 30. Uh, 30. Okay. We didn't hold them to it, but yeah, okay. for those of you who didn't actually 
uh, participate in the contest. Sorry if you missed it. Uh, we will be having more uh, contests like this in the future. So make sure you're subscribing and following us on Facebook and everywhere else you can find us because there'll be more and there'll be more prizes as well. But this, of course, the winner is going to get two tickets uh, to 90s Con. This is for the 17th. This is for the Sunday. Andrea's okay. going to be there. Oh, yeah. I'll be wearing um, green so I don't get pinched because that's uh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wear <laughs> you know, your green, even... people. Wow. <laughs> if, it, if the atmosphere was not wild enough, we're going to amp it up even more on <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> yes. Keep your hands to yourselves, everybody. That's uh, Yeah, it's all about consent, right? But no, right. I, I'll, I'll be in green anyways, just for, you know, because it's, it's fun and spirited and I'll save the beer drinking for later, though. I'll drink my green beer after 90s con to celebrate. <laughs> There's got to be a hula hands or something around there. I think oh, it's kind of yeah. a bar area, if I know. So oh, yeah. there's there's some great restaurants nearby within walking distance. So All right. I right. love Hartford. Hartford's fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Good place to be. And, uh, you know, for the winner of these tickets, hopefully you're within reach. Um, if you've entered this contest, then, uh, you know, you know where you're going. So yeah. why don't we choose one of these? We're going to go with... Okay. Uh, Number one, randomly. This is uh, okay. Amanda random, Menard. Random order. Uh, yes. who, Amanda B Bernard? Menard. Menard. Okay. Yes. And again, you know, we said, hey, just send us your best impersonation of your favorite 90s TV character. And some of them took took that to a, a different slight place creatively, maybe expanded Ooh. on that. And I, I think Amanda may have done just that. So okay. here we go. Let's see. Let's take a look. We don't have to be good at impressions. We use 90s terms in our everyday life. T -t 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 Today, Junior! I'm king of the world! Dad, did you get that yard work done yet? And the kid in the Pivot! Pivot! I'm not gonna do what everyone <laughs> thinks I'm gonna do! And win it out, man! <laughs> life is like a box of chocolates. You never quite know what you're gonna get. You got it, dude! Hey, wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Amanda and family. She roped her family into this as well. <laughs> she sure did. They're naturals. They're not, I mean. That was very creative. Very <laughs> creative. I love the use of just the everyday items around the house or the yard, you know. The Pivot was hysterical. <laughs> One of my all-time favorite scenes from Friends is the pivot scene. So I, I loved it. That was so creative, Amanda. Oh, awesome. Bravo. Well done. And I love, I just love, I mean, as much as we love talking about the 90s, I just love inherently how in this day and age, you can just grab your phone and just create that, you know? Yeah. You don't need a lot of preparation. You don't need a budget. You could just right. have some fun. And that's what this contest was all about. So, yeah, I thought that, I, I mean, if you want my opinion, I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, know, I need the feedback. I want the feedback. So <laughs> I And I agree completely. All you need is your iPhone and some willing participants or victims, depending on how your family is. But um, no, it's it was great. Like I said, you did no pre-planning, no huge production values. You don't need that. You just need creativity. And that was creative. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready for number two? Mm -hmm. I am. Okay. Um, here we go. This is Davey Lozano. He sent this in. Now, okay. you know, we talk about budgets. I don't know. Here, see for yourself. Let's take a okay. look at Davey's video. Okay, Davey. Wow. Our heads, our heads are where, bobbing simultaneously. Davey, where did he get that? He or she, he, I assume. Where did they get that costume? That is, that's not just some like costume you pick up at Party City on your way home from work. Like that is a legit costume. Yeah. So wow. many questions. And, and look, we didn't give a lot of lead time for this contest. So, you know, nobody had time to go out and seek out something special, really. Right. Right. Did he so just have, is that just, was he in that costume when he found out about the contest? 
I'm wondering, I'm <laughs> wondering because you can't special order that in just a matter of, you know, a, a couple days or so. Did he just have it in his closet? Like, why? <laughs> and why? If he did have it already, why is the question? <laughs> Was it a video he just randomly recorded on a Tuesday at 11 a.m.? <laughs> And he just had it in the chamber waiting for us. He was just waiting for any contest that this that this video would fit into. And he's like, oh, 90s con contest. Here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was great. Oh, wow. That was very funny. Very was, funny. I need to borrow that costume. Maybe I'll wear that. It's green, so I could wear that to 90s con. <laughs> If Davey doesn't win and and wear it himself, oh uh, yeah, D Davey, if you do, if if you do end up going to nineties con with or without these tickets, you have to wear that costume. Otherwise, it's just a complete waste of space on this planet. That, yeah. That's where it needs to be. Mandatory, mandatory costume at nineties con. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, the, the the final entry, okay. another family affair. Oh, um, good. I, I, I look. You're the judge. I, I just want to give you a bit of forewarning here. We had a little bit of it in the first video. Okay. I know there's the potential for a little bias. Oh. When, when oh. we're talking about certain TV shows that you may or may not have starred in for many a season. Ah, uh -huh. okay, okay. So I just want you to try to ward that off and look at these this objectively okay. uh, alongside the others. I will be very is, impartial. Absolutely. This is Steve Credo and the entire Credo family. They got together, and uh, here is our third banger video. Hey, we're the Credos, and I grew up watching Full House, and my kids grew up watching Fuller House, and here's our impressions. Have mercy. How rude. You got it, dude. Oh, my Lanta. Cut it out. Bravo, Credo family. That was great. They got blonde girls too. I mean, they are the Tanners. That was fantastic. Oh, I love that. And they yeah. nailed those impressions. They nailed those catchphrases. Absolutely. That's so they funny. They did. And one shot, you know? One shot, no yeah. cut. Yeah. Yeah. That it was one take, one take wonder, you know? That is mm. so cool. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> that was great. Oh, I, I love mean, those. I love the creativity. I love the commitment. That's just so great. <laughs> and quite honestly, I feel like these are all people who have proven their fandom. So one way, in one way, shape, or form, I'd love for all of them to find their way to 90s con because it just I seems know. like a perfect fit, you know? I know. I know. I wish I could pick all three because obviously they all deserve it. And I all want to see them in person in either the costume or doing the impressions. Um <laughs> This is going to be hard. I wish we could have like audience feedback or something to like a show of hands. Um, we need those America's Funniest Home Videos clickers, like the, yeah. the votes on the studio audience. Yeah. Um, um, how am I going to pick? This is this is a lot of pressure. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't um, mean to put this all on you, but I'm glad it is. <laughs> so you don't even get like half a vote. You don't get like input or mm. it's all up to me. I feel like if I take any, if I give you any input, it would just kind of muddy that pure feeling that you may yeah. have in your heart. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You don't want to, you don't want to bias the judge in any sort of way, but this is a lot of pressure. Um, and you know, I, I used to host a Kimmy Gibbler costume contest every year. So I, I'm, I relate to this. I know this pressure because I, I know I get so many great entries of people dressed as Kimmy Gibbler and they're all so good and people put their heart into it. And so I, I know how devastating it is to have to tell someone, sorry, you didn't win. So, mm. oh, this is so much pressure. Now I'm like, why did I agree to this? Why did I agree to this? I feel terrible <laughs> for you, Andrea. <laughs> this really no, sucks. that's okay. Um, okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, let's well, do it. This, let's do it okay. this way. I, I'm okay. going to suggest something. Okay. Usually, you know, when we were trying to stretch this process out on a TV show, a game show, whatever, we, we find a way to say thank you, but no thank you to one of the three. And then we bring it down to the final two, like American Idol style, you know? Oh, so oh is, okay. Okay. Is there a factor here that might make you think, 
you know what? These two just a little bit stronger. They're the head to head finalist. Oh, okay. So yeah, narrowing it down a little bit slower. Okay. I like that. I like that. Um, well, you know, obviously I'm going to have to put uh, the Credo family in one of the top two because it's full house. It's the catchphrases that we all know and love and that I grew up with. You guys grew up with. So they're definitely in the top two. They're smart. Yes. Um, and then my other part of the top two, I, I feel like I have to go with Amanda. The first video just because she incorporated so many different shows. It was just like this, you know, cornucopia of, of 90s nostalgia wonderfulness. <laughs> so to me, as much as I love Davey and his, his turtle costume, which was amazing. If there's an honorable mention award, it goes to Davey in the turtle costume because that, like, I just, I think that's amazing. And I hope, I hope that he still comes and shows up in the the turtle costume and uh he will definitely be the mvp if he does that if, but, if, um, there's, any, if there's any consolation prize to you davy that video in and of itself while perhaps not a winner today i feel has the potential now that it's out in the world to go viral to lead to demand for other videos i mean a ninja turtle holding a ninja turtle yeah. How many how many levels can we add to this? What can oh. we where can we develop this from here? Because this it's is so very meta. meta. It yeah. Is. And it's exciting. I, I, what can he do with a budget? That's right? Yeah, if he just whipped that up with no warning, what could he do if he had some lead time? Like that this is that was amazing. There will definitely be another contest somewhere someday. <laughs> that Davey can put that costume back on and make another another co a contest entry because it was fantastic. If you ever judge a, a, a dress like a Ninja Turtle contest instead of a Gibbler contest, he's getting a call. Oh, he is a for sure winner, like 100%. So, <laughs> oh. And now we're down to two. And okay, so now we're down to two. We're down does to that make it easier? Does that make it easier or tougher? Amanda and the Credos, two families, well, it doesn't make it easier. That's for sure. Um, okay. Amanda and the Credos. And I love both of them for different reasons. Um, uh, it's so hard to pick. They both involved their families, which I love. It's like a big family affair. It's a, it's a, it's a family effort. And I love that, you know, in the spirit of the nineties, there were lots of sitcoms about families. And so I think that was very appropriate. Yeah. Um, Gosh, I love so many things about these. Uh, okay. Okay. I have, I've made my decision. Oh, gosh, I've made my decision and it was not easy. I'll tell you that right now. It was not easy. <sighs> Am I confident in this decision? Okay. Yes. I'm confident in this decision. I'm not you going want, to second guess myself. <laughs> do you want to phone a friend or I mean, do we? <laughs> Right? Can I just can I call John Stamos right now and get his opinion? Because he would have some opinions. Um, okay, so do I announce the winner or do I tell you why I picked the winner first? Like I don't even know how to announce it. I feel like do I need a drum roll? Why don't you tell us why and lead into who that why that who that reason points to? Okay, so the. The family that I picked, um, I picked that family because of their creativity, their ingenuity, the group effort, which it's, I have a family myself, so I know how hard it is to coordinate kids and parents and like all of the people that probably didn't really want to participate, but they did anyways. So um, the group effort, creativity, ingenuity, um, and just like the happy feeling that it gives me just watching that video and feeling all of those nostalgic feelings, you know, it's like a nice warm hug watching those videos <laughs> and just remembering just what an awesome decade the nineties were. Um, oh, okay. Okay. The winner of this contest mm -hmm. is Amanda and family. Woo. Absolutely. Yes, it's and uh, you know what? Yes, and special shout out to the Credos because 
you nailed those impressions. Those were the best full house impressions that I've ever heard outside of the cast. But I've got to give it to Amanda just because uh, she incorporated so many different shows and it had so many different like locations and props and, you know, with with no budget and no lead time. That was very, very impressive. So I got to give it to Amanda and family. And dare I say, uh, if I may chime in now that the decision has been made, a contest where, you know, at this level of finalists, there truly was no loser. No, everybody. Oh no. Everybody's a winner, of course. Of course, just the fact that these three entrants were able to be displayed on on your show here and that we got to talk about it and analyze it. Like you you are all winners in my heart. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I love- and I hope I hope they all come to 90s con, you know? I hope all of them, all, everyone who entered this contest, whether you were shown on this show or not, I hope you come to 90s con and make sure you mention it to me if you come by my table. And uh, I'll give you a special High five. <laughs> or, I don't know. A hug? Whatever you want. High five, hug, whatever you want. Or a so, green beer. We don't, we don't actually know what's going to be going on. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. Oh, oh my goodness. Funny. Oh, that was well, great. That was, it, that was it so was. fun. That was great. I don't know how you narrowed it down to three. That must have been very, very difficult. And I don't know how I picked the winner, but um, yeah, that was fun. That was you great. You went to I another place. Yeah. I saw your eyes roll in the back of your head. You were really <laughs> like, it just came to you. Yes. Yes. But I did yeah, it. no. Oh, how fun. That was that amazing. Was great. You, I mean, between this and even, I didn't know that you had this history of, of judging contests, but oh, yeah. certainly this is something you should do more of. And uh do at a, at a higher level. I'm thinking uh, Supreme Court. Um, oh, sure. Oh, this is, well, this is my experience right here. What more experience <laughs> do you need to be on the Supreme Court? Right on the resume. And, and to be sure. judging a 90s con contest <laughs> or a Kimmy Gibbler costume contest as well. You know, that's all, that's all you need on your resume. <laughs> you never know. You never know where life may take you in the next, who knows how long, Andrea, but, uh, you know, it was, <laughs> it was certainly great to, to launch this kind of contest here on the show with you. You made it awesome. So oh, thank you thanks. so much for that. I'm, it's such an honor to get to come on your show again and also to be this celebrity judge. I was so honored. So thank you for asking me because this was super fun. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you. Thanks to everyone who, who did send in a submission, whether we were able to showcase you or not, especially thank you to our, all of our finalists. Congratulations to Amanda. Um, we'll be reaching out to you, of course, right away and, and arranging for you guys to be there at 90s con. And of yes. course, we're all going to say hi. As I said, I'm going to be there somewhere covering this thing and Andrea nice. will be there front and center. And at some point we're all going to say hi and, oh, and yeah. do high fives and, you know, and or beers, you know, whatever. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know if there's going to be a beer garden or like, I don't know how, I don't know how they handle the food section of nineties con, but if I could put in a request, I would put in a request for a 21 and over uh, beer garden with green beer. Fair. I'm sure, I'm sure the organizers can just whip that together. They got nothing else to do <laughs> these next 10 days before the, the con happens. Oh, so, no. Or not it's 10 all, days, what are two weeks, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's calmness. It's relaxation. They're chill. They're ready to go. I'm sure they're not worried mm-hmm. about the like hundred thousand people that are going to walk through those doors. <laughs> uh, such a party. Oh, it's such a fun atmosphere. Yeah. Constant well, look, smiles. I can't wait. I can't wait to see you there. Can't wait to see all of our fans and, and the winner, Amanda, and her family. This is going to yeah. be great. Absolutely. Um, it's going to it, look as of as of right now. Let's get it out of the way and just wish you a wonderful 90s con and St. Patrick's Day, by the way. But of mm-hmm. course, as we said, we'll you know, hopefully we'll all be running into each other and we hope to run into all of you. If you guys are out there, if you're watching the show, if you're at 90s con, um, if you see Andrea, make sure you let her know that you're a listener of this show. If you see me, um, make sure you let me know. Cause that always is, is great to hear. Yeah. Um, and we're all going to have a blast. Oh, it's, it's going to be so today. much fun. Sleep now, people bank <laughs> sleep. If you can <laughs> and do some stretching exercises, drink lots of water, make sure you're hydrated. And, um, yeah, if you can pack some snacks. Because you got to keep that blood sugar high enough to to hit all of the celebrities that you wanna that you wanna meet. Because there's so many, there's so many people 
I don't, I don't know how you, I don't know how you choose who you want to meet first, second, third. Like it's, it's, it's a tough choice. There's a lot of great people coming to this con. Right. She's being modest. Of course you go to Andrea first and then you figure <laughs> out afterwards who the second oh. year is. Well, uh, my line isn't as long as some of these other celebrities. So you can come, come by and uh, take a break and we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll chat it up. So yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it's going to be awesome. It was awesome today. It was uh, awesome to watch all these videos. And uh, it's awesome to have you all here, and especially you, Andrea. So thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, doing all the things that you do. Of course, don't forget about your podcast, too. We, you know, if, if those of you have lived under a rock and have not been following Andrea <laughs> and uh, another uh, one of our favorite guests on the show, Jody Sweeten, um, and of course, your show, uh uh, how rude tanneritos thank, thank yes. you it's a mouthful i know how rude tanneritos um we went through several iterations and we're like well we want both of our catchphrases in the title so it's how rude tanneritos um we are we're reviewing every single episode of full house mostly for the first time like we haven't seen most of these episodes so we're watching mm -hmm. it for the first time after you know 35 years after the show was on the air and we're giving our commentary we're giving behind the scenes little nuggets um we do some character analysis we make jokes we make fun of ourselves it's a blast jody and i are having so much fun watching ourselves as she was five i was 10 and the you know the fashion the, the 90s fashion <laughs> is particularly mwah, chef's kiss. So, uh, yeah, check it out. How Rude Tanneritos, uh, anywhere you get your podcasts. You know, I, and I have to say really quickly, uh, you know, uh, this show is what this show is. But since sort of this 90s wave turned into these conventions and these Q&As and these reunions, now all of a sudden we're finding that there's so many fans who want to hear from you guys every week. And now you have a successful podcast and the, the cast of Boy Meets World does okay. their weekly podcast. And step by step, they just started their podcast. And then they all That's come sweet. back to 90s Con this year. And all the fans of the podcast are going to be able to see them live and in person too. So the whole thing just keeps building, man. That must be so yeah. exciting. Oh, it's it's very exciting. There is there's a hunger for this 90s nostalgia. And you're right. I didn't think about it. All of these these rewatch podcasts were all gonna be <laughs> we're all gonna be there at 90s con. We should do a live show from 90s con, like all of us together. Um, that would be so fun. I'm gonna pitch that for next year. Hey, forget about, um, a, yeah, forget it's about a podcast. You guys could get together and you could do like a we are the world type of thing. There's so many of you <laughs> doing podcasts at some point. <laughs> Hey, yeah, you could do the documentary. You'll be like the, you could be the guy that films it and puts together the documentary that you release in 30 years. I just watched that a couple of weeks ago. It's a really good mm. documentary. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I love, they're, they're all so great. The Boy Meets World cast, Step by Step. I'm, I'm very excited that Step by Step will be at 90s Con this year <clears throat> because I haven't seen Christine Lakin in, in several years. So uh, I'm excited to see her, all my old buddies on uh, Boy Meets World. It's, it's going to be a blast. I can't wait. Yeah. And we're going to do another quick, uh, a quick plug and just let you know that if you have not caught up on 90s to now episodes uh, and you are preparing to uh, to get up close and personal with all your favorite stars, everyone that we're talking about, you know, we've had a lot of these people on the show. Christine Lakin's been on the show a bunch of times. Of course, we've talked about Jody. Uh, we just had Kerr Smith from Dawson's Creek. He's a first time oh, cool. attendee this year. <gasps> Oh, that's um, exciting. Ooh. Yeah. And uh, we also just had Christine Taylor, who's going to be there with the Hey Dude cast. Hey Dude, yeah. And, oh, and she's she and, fantastic. She and David Lasher, they have their Hey Dude, the 90s called podcast as well. So it's all, that's right. oh, all coming together. I so, love it. I yeah. just love it. I think you can never get too much nostalgia. You know, it's, it's kind of a, people make fun of like, oh my God, another rewatch podcast. But people love it. Like there's a reason why everyone's doing a rewatch podcast because the fans can't get enough. They love the behind the scenes stories. And we got to get all of these memories and behind the scenes tidbits and stories. We got to get it all recorded before we're like senile and we can't like <laughs> remember any of these stories anymore. So now's the time. Now's the time. And I'll tell you what, and, and I, I've, uh, we've had him on the show as well. And, uh, 
just to, to give the counterpoint to that, William Daniels, Mr. Feeney from Boy Meets World, mm. he's what, 95 years old now, right now? Rocking he's 96, it. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and he is still out there doing the Q&As, and he was great on this show. And so, you know, hopefully everyone travels down that path, and we've got lots and lots of time to continue to hear these stories from you guys. But yeah. Yes. Yes. Love Bill Daniels. He is, he's the goat, man. He is the goat. <laughs> I hope I, I, I hope I have that much stamina when I'm in my nineties to still be doing conventions like this. Uh, I admire him so much. He's, he's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And he'll be there along with the yeah. whole cast of boy meets world. And, yeah. um, you know, you guys from, uh, from full house and step by step and Dawson's Creek and seventh heaven is going to be there for the first time. And Oh yeah. Oh, that'll be great. Oh, Marissa, this is exciting. Marissa Tomei is going to be there. And Susan, Gina Sarandon. Davis, Susan yes. Sarandon, you can get your Thelma and Louise picture. It's so cool. Oh man. I'm going to be right. a little starstruck in the green room this year. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we're all going to be starstruck. We're all going to be excited and hopefully we're all going to be there. So um, great to talk to you to get us all that much more hyped about this thing. Mm, and of yeah. course, just to talk to you because you're awesome. Oh, thanks. And thanks. I always, always enjoy having a nice conversation with you and I'm definitely pumped for nineties con. Like, I, I mean, not that I wasn't before, but now I'm especially pumped for nineties con. I can't wait. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We'll see all you guys there. We'll see you next time on nineties to now. And uh, thank you for joining us one more time. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Andrew. Thanks. <laughs>